Well, hello, hello, hello. Good morning. It's that time of the morning where you are inside Weekends with Marsha J, where we amplify the voice of positive influencers. Just want to say a quick thank you to our sponsors, Yumi Digital Inc. That's www.yumidigitalinc.com. And don't forget to get the Yumi Radio app if you're listening to the app or from the app i would say thank you very much if you haven't checked it out you need to definitely check this app out also we have mindfulness in ministry masterclass that's www.mycoachministry.com of course access business tree at accessbusinesstree.com shop and own that's mm, not and but shop and own with an n.com www.shopnown.com and of course every week i invite you guys to vote all the djs on yumiradio.com they have their uh, top five song selection for the week and so you need to go over to the website and you are going to select let me tell you what to do because this is my show and i feel like i have dominance in my show you are going to vote marcia j for your top five music for this week and you can go ahead and check out, check out the selections of um different types of music that we have selected as djs but i want you to vote for marcia j all right so here's what coming up what's coming up in our program today uh we have morning worship that's coming up next and at 8 15 we have the news segment and of course we're going to be checking out the news that's on ubiradio.com and then we have the caribbean roundup or take two with akilim who is in the house right and we have our hot topics shot in the presence of my kids at 8 30 we're going to be having our community support and this week's guest is none other than lady marka adams and she is the ceo of ayana's kitty care you don't want to miss that segment and we have immediately after same focus on the family relationships and adventures in odyssey for the kids you need to call the kids because we have something extremely extremely fun for them to do today and of course we're going to be having champions for the kingdom which is our music interview segment with guest minister geneva and then after that you know how we hate to say bye bye but you know we're not even there yet so the views and opinions included in this program belong to their author or speaker and do not necessarily mirror the views and opinions of the Yumi Radio. And so we are up for a very awesome, awesome program today. And of course, uh, we are going straight into our morning worship. And so if you have your cup of tea, I'm going to invite you to go ahead, mix your coffee, mix your cocoa, mix your green tea, and just come spend a few minutes and sip with Marsha J. So today we are going to be reading from, we've been in a very interesting series from the book Moments of Grace, and we've been having some very, very awesome devotions from this book. So Moments of Grace are those times when God's kindness and mercy to us in Jesus, it just takes our breath away. We pause perhaps over a cup of tea and ponder about our Savior's love. So the devotion that we will do focuses not necessarily on the T-E-A of tea we drink, but on the words that end in T-Y and insights gleaned considering those words in light of scripture. And so we're going to go ahead today and look at the word loyalty. Loyalty, the quality of being loyal, faithful in allegiance. Let me say that again. Loyalty, the quality of being loyal, faithful in allegiance. It was three o'clock in the morning and there she was again. The tags on the collar of our dog, Cassie, a large German shepherd, jingled in the darkness outside of my window. I found comfort in the occasional hoot of an howl and the sound of crickets chirping. But the jingling was special. I snuggled under the covers with a smile, feeling very protected and very loved by my loyal sentry. We had brought Cassie into our home several months before. She arrived as a tiny puppy peeking anxiously out of my husband's coat pocket. In just months, she had grown into a 90-pound dog. 
her self-imposed mission in life, besides chasing cars on our dirt road and exploring the woods behind our, our house, was to stand guard to protect us. As each day would draw to an end and the darkness began to settle, Cassie would begin her guard duty. Every hour on the hour, she would inspect the parameter. She sniffed, watched, and listened for any sign of intruders. A well-worn path around the house gave evidence of Cassie's hourly marches. As dawn appeared, Cassie would end her vigil. What a loyal and faithful friend. In a far larger sense, an eternally important sense, each believer enjoys the love of Christ, our faithful friend and brother. We are loved, cherished and protected by the one who would give his life for ours. Someone who did give his life for ours. His love and his loyalty will never end. Jesus walks with us through the very dark valleys of our questioning, stubbornness, disappointment, and despair. Still, his allegiance, grace, and commitment never wavers. He never grows tired. He will never leave us, nor will he ever forsake us. Jesus has promised to guard and shield us. No matter what happens, he walks beside us to guide us, help us, and even to comfort us. In times of joy and times of trouble, he invites us to spend time with him as we bask in the warmth of his friendship. Will we reciprocate? Will we respond by offering back to him our loyalty and allegiance in return? Will we live to honor the one who has died for us? Let's take a moment to think about that. And our closing scripture for this morning is Joshua 1 and verse 9. It says, Have not I commanded thee, be strong and of a good courage? Do not be afraid, neither be thou dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, neither be dismayed. For the Lord thy God is with thee, whithersoever thou goest. Isn't that a wonderful thing? There's a song that says, a very old song, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege to carry everything to God in prayer. And that's one of the good things about having a loyal friend. You don't have to worry about genuineness. You don't have to worry about having someone there that's going to judge you for what you're going through or where you are in life. It's important for us to acknowledge who Jesus is and the fact that he's loyal to us. It shows us how to be loyal to people in our lives. I've always said this. Our relationship with God is both vertical and horizontal. Vertically goes up and down. Our relationship with him, horizontally, our relationship with each other. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you so much for your amazing love that never ceases, it never ends, and it is unconditional. We thank you, O oh God, for being faithful to us even when we were unfaithful. We thank you for this beautiful day. We thank you for who you are. And we thank you most of all for loving us in spite of. As we are about to get into our program today, I pray that you will bless each and every person that is on the set today. You will bless our guests that will be on today. And you will bless those that are listening from near and far. And you will drop a word in this program that will help to make their lives better. We want to thank you, oh God, for your presence that is with us even now. We want to thank you that you're about to meet needs and you're about to break shackles, even in this program today. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. And that was our devotion for this morning. And so we are just going to go straight into our new segment. And today's new segment is brought to us by YumiRadio.com. 